Hi everyone, Liz here. Thanks for stopping by. So I've got a couple of completion reviews to show you today and they're both special drill projects. As you know, I love my special drills. So we've got this gorgeous flower wreath, which is all beautiful, uh, like spring flowers, because I am hoping for spring. And then we've got this lovely little gorgeous girl uh, on a swing. So, yeah, we'll have a closer look at those. Um, I did kit this one up, actually, because it was so many different colours and she is double sided. So when something's double sided, I do find that working from little bags, particularly when it was... Think how many colours was she? She was 13 different gems and colours. I just used my lipstick container, which just holds these bottles really, really well. <laughs> As my little uh, special drill storage. It's great if you've just got a few um a few gems or drills to uh, do on a painting, just use these. They're just easy to carry around and the gems do stay in, she says. Yep, they do stay. <laughs> could have all gone horribly wrong but yeah they do stay in uh, these quite well and you can put your pens in these little um bits as well here if you've got your little pen there it will just stand in the end but yeah they were actually designed for the beauty industry but as crafters we tend to repurpose things i originally bought one of these i think from amazon that came with a diamond painting kit and then because i liked these uh, little stands so much these little containers so much then i went looking to see if i could find just the containers on their own and they come in several different sizes as well so i found them really handy because as you know i love my special drill projects uh, i will just say as well a huge a huge thank you to uh, michael uh, michael anderson he does the youtube channel as well so i'll put him on here go and check him out and show him some love Um, he does some great projects and uh, yeah, he quite often messages me and uh, shows me his projects and things that he's got as well. Uh, and he did send me um, a... He did send me an Amazon gift card, which was very, very uh, generous of him. And uh, thank you, Michael. It was very lovely of you. You don't have to send me anything, but it was lovely to receive that. And I have spent it on a new diamond painting logbook. Um, I do like to use these logbooks so that if somebody asks me um, where I got something from or how much it costs, or when I did it and how long I've had it, uh, then I do like to log them in here. So this is a brand new one. Um, it's double-sided and it is a nice large one as well. So you can get plenty in there. So when I say, um, when I'm doing a project and I say, oh, I keep the edges or the little pictures or whatever, um, and that'll go in my log book, then this is where I put them. So thank you, Michael. Um, the gift voucher that you sent me, I did use towards uh, my diamond painting log book really big thank you it's so kind of him uh he's a lovely guy so as i say go check out his uh, youtube channel um subscribe there and i'm sure you'll enjoy watching what he's up to and uh, all the new lovely things that he's got okay i've uh, just been joined by the lovely millie moo who's just come in and gone into her bed say hello did you want to stay in with me rather than going out yeah okay then we won't be long we're just showing everybody these lovely things that we've done. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> she does like to get in on the act. She's been in with me uh, while I've done a bit of filming and then she's disappeared and gone out and now she's come back to see what I'm doing. It's maybe a bit more interesting than what Daddy's watching on the telly. <laughs> okay, so let's start off with the little girl first. Uh, the only thing with this, I mean, I love it. It is so pretty really these the flowers the blossom in this tree and the shape of it and the little girl swinging on it is absolutely gorgeous and as i say it is double-sided so you could put it in the middle of a table you've even got your tulips at the bottom here but it, it is not very stable and it is quite wonky and it does as you can see lean to one side it does have a double base so the base oh i've not actually stuck that together which probably doesn't help um, the base is one of those that is diamond painted, but then you get the clear base as well. So it 
yeah it just leans i just don't think it's too top heavy it's just not stable enough this tree trunk here could have done to have been just a little bit thicker just to hold it that little bit better or if it had been wooden it would have held better but yeah it is all acrylic i mean i love it it just looks so pretty i've got it oh, sat on my desk here and my back wall is actually a very pale pink so it really stands out there but at the moment i am having to stand it one way and lean it against the wall otherwise sadly she does fall over i suppose i could put some um foam pads or something and actually stick her down onto a surface but i've not decided where i'm going to put her yet so that's Mm, not brilliant um i did use as well because it didn't come with the uh, project i have used like little keychains you know the little ball and fastening keychains there i've used those to hang the swing with um I, I can't quite remember i don't think it came with anything to hang her with but i've got plenty of these little chains spare so i've just popped those through and i think with it being gold and her hair like being golden it just all matches in with it i did use as well the little girl actually at the bottom of her dress and her little shape on her dress there were actually silver they'd put the silver uh, coloured gems on and I didn't want her dress to be the same colour so I've actually just put some um, AB coated white plain white gems there and I think that just makes the dress stand out a little bit more we've still got the sparkle on it because you've got your iridescent coating your AB coating on the white but it just makes it stand out more I think if that had have been just crystal the same as like the seat or the cloud that she's sat on it wouldn't have stood out quite so much so yeah but I, i'd say it is exceptionally pretty i'm just that slightly disappointed that we've got a definite lean you know even if you put it completely flat it's still top heavy that way but very very pretty so there was a lot of gems left over so i did just make the one change on there and um, there was a uh, 13 was the 14 colours no there was 13 different gems i don't know if they were all i think these are all just standard gems as well so they will just go into my standards i won't put these away today because there's no specials but as you can see there were plenty left over and um, i'll put the details down below um, of where she was from she was from a, a store well they were both from stores on aliexpress um, and I just thought she was something a little bit different to try and see how she turned out. Oh, I've got some specials. So I've got some little oh, flowers out there. All the little flowers are pale pink teardrops. Oh, and I've got the gold as well, which is the middle of the flowers. So, yeah, I've got two that we can put away. So, yeah, I'll put those back away in my special drills. OK, so I'll pop those to one side for now and we will have a look at the wreath. So, you know, I like my reeds and this, I just think the colours have come out stunning. These daisies here just look so fresh and so pretty. And then even round to the silver around these gold flowers here just looks so gorgeous. I don't know whether they're maybe like a fuchsia type flower. Really not sure. I think these are roses. These are like some sort of daisy with the gold in the centre, sorry, the purple in the centre there. I think these are daffodils don't know what these are <laughs> but i know that these are daisies <laughs> but yeah so this was um white coated and it has got a chain this one so it can be hung up using the chain then plenty of crystals and gems left over now this has got lovely lobster claw clasps on it so it's easy to hang up have a look just put these through to be honest i tend not to use um the chains when i've got wreaths i too tend to just like using um say command strips or something and just putting them flat on the wall but we will just see if this chain fits i don't think this is going to because i don't think these lobster claw clasps are actually big enough to go on here but we'll say oh just and it has just closed as well, that's fine. But this is a very long chain as well on this one. 
Okay. It is just a single sided one, this one. It's not like the uh, little girl on her swing. It's very pretty, but lovely for a decoration in a little girl's bedroom, I think, the girl on the swing. But, uh, yeah, she's not very stable. So, yeah, it has got a very long chain to hang it, but very spring-like. I think that'll go on my spring-themed wall in the corner. Again, from AliExpress, I will put the details down below. And the gems that we got. So we've got standard little pink. Standard green, lots of silver, they'll go in my silver jar. A uh, standard pink, not quite a hot pink, a uh, green. Then we've got uh, half sphere pearls, put those up there. And very teeny, tiny teardrops in blue. That's pink as well. We've got uh, a gold, just standard gold and a lemony gold. And then large round purple large pink teardrops, large green uh, marquees, and then that gorgeous colour. I love that colour. Just a very, very deep purpley blue colour. Okay, so there are all the standards, which will go in my standard crystals when I get my colours matched up there. And did we have any silver in these? I don't think, well, we did, because she sat on the silver cloud. So, yeah, there's the silvers there as well. So they'll get put in there. Okay, so I'll pop those to one side. So we've got two lots of pinks, one gold, one white, one purple, and then all the silver. So let's get my silver jar and uh, put the silvers away in here. Uh, keep watching this space because I have found something to do with my spare silver gems. I'm just waiting for another item to come. Uh, I've got one of my little projects that... Uh, I decided to have a go at so when the other one comes and I'll show you them both together so that'll be quite good so that's the silvers put away okay and then let me just grab my oops excuse me little wreath pop over there in a second right oops helps if I open it the right way around it has got a little um message plate on the front as well so i should really know which is the front and which is the back but <laughs> never mind so these are all my special drills as you can see i have got a lot they are starting to expand and possibly go out of the box uh, this is based on these um normal acrylic and resin drill storage by rebecca add more zest uh, and i've just adapted it to uh, use it for all my different colours of special drill, a special shaped um, drills, should I say. I have round ones in here, but not the standard size, the small size round. I just have the large size rounds in here and then all the special shapes. And I categorise them into colour and then I have large round, I have marquees, teardrops and then miscellaneous, which are like stars and flowers and all the different colours as well. So we start off with the silvers. We've not got any silvers. Uh, black, silver. I've, I've changed them round slightly so <laughs> um, so I could fit them all into this box. And uh, any of the Craft Buddy ones. Craft Buddy are a large uh, company here based in the UK. And uh, they have their own system, lettering and numbering system for uh, their yes. special gems and i started using their categories and trying to match them up but i was finding it was getting too much so i just keep theirs separately at the front um of my drills so that i can still check if i can put numbers on them um and then they're in the still in like with the gold and the silver and everything you'll see what i mean as i go along so there are large rounds um which include all the different rounds oh that's got a black one in there that must be come out from <laughs> i don't know how that one's ended up in there um the large rounds um are all anything bigger than the standard gems there so i'm just looking for these there's none of those in the craft buddy ones so i can put those back but now i am still, still in the gold now as well so i'm not having to look in that side and look in this side i can just look in the one place and are they that size? I do believe they are. So we found that one straight away. And then this is just all my others that haven't got a number on them at the moment. I am, 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 I am hoping eventually to have them all with a number or a letter on. 
but uh, that's maybe a pipe dream maybe that's not going to happen and i can just keep having them uh, as large rounds and things and their uh, teardrops and everything so. but yeah it is working okay it's it's doing okay at least i can find them you know if, like if i've run out of a certain gem um or if i want to change a gem out uh, i had a squirrel um little pen holder the other day and they'd put gold eyes on it and i didn't want gold eyes i wanted black so i knew i could come into my black drills and have a look through and see if there was something that was suitable and there was and uh, yeah it did look better so yeah it's worth keeping them i say i do tend to have an awful lot at the moment though uh yeah maybe yeah i might have to start thinning it out a little bit but we'll see but i love special drills and sparkly and oh dear i will find it very hard to get rid of any of these <laughs> Right, so we've got gold there. Is that all gold? Yep. So now we're on to pink. Uh, we haven't got any round ones. We've got two lots of teardrops. So we only need to look in pink teardrops. And we have one craft buddy one, but it's a, a very vivid pink. So it's not that one. So let's look in the others. And, ooh, these are all hot pink ones. Have we got any pale ones? No, so look at those oh, hot pink. <laughs> so we can pop those back in there. And now I need two bags. So I've got some little bags just at the front here. And these will go in a little bag on their own. So I haven't got a number for them. So they will just be in a little number on their own. Okay, so that's that one. And then this bag here. Put the slightly larger ones in. So, yeah, as you're doing things, you think, oh, you know, is this another new gem that I've got? And it's amazing how many, I mean, there must be thousands of different uh, shapes and that of gems. And to actually have them all and have them all categorised, I think you'd have about, a, well, a lot of boxes. Uh, it certainly wouldn't just be one. <laughs> okay, so now we're in green and these are marquees. So we need to look at green marquees. Um, we have one craft buddy one with an actual number on and it's not that one. So let's have a look in the other marquees and see if there's anything we can match up to. Uh, they're a similar size, but not the same colour. They're, um, they're slightly smaller, bright colour, but slightly smaller. So that's another new one that we've got. Wow. Okay, so pop those back. And get another little bag from the front and pop those into here. Okay. Millie has just had a shuffle and is now laying the other way around and hanging out the other side. <laughs> oh dear, she is funny. She's got to be comfy. She's a diva. <laughs> okay, so they will now go into there. So the next colour is blue and we have these little teeny tiny teardrops in blue. So we need to look in teardrops. Okay, they're marquees and then as you can see they're popping up quite a bit because there's too many in. The craft buddy ones are a totally different colour and size. So now we need to look in teardrops and oh, I think it could just actually be the one at the front yep they are those so at least we are getting a couple that we've already got so, yep get these put in with their little friends quite difficult to pick up these little tiny ones and to get straight sometimes it's easier to use tweezers with them or to put them down and then maneuver them with tweezers uh, just to get them into the right place Okay, so then the next one is round. So these are little round pearls. So we're looking in rounds. 
and we haven't got any craft buddy ones so let's have a look at these are they the same size yes they are that was good we've picked up the first one and it's the right one so that was uh, lucky okay put those in there is popped in oh here in you go go on in you get that's it okay so that's those and then finally we just want purple so purple is there and large rounds and there's a few of the craft buddy ones at the front there with a letter on and Oop, could it be those? Uh, no, they've got facets on them and they haven't. So although they're the same colour and the same size, they're actually not the same because they've not got the facets on. Just trying to confuse me. Okay, so we want some large purple rounds. Oof, look at those with the coating on. They're the same, but they're a bigger size. So another new one. Wow, lots of new ones today. Okay. Grab another little bag from the front and add these. At least it's not one on its own. It's got a couple of friends with it. <laughs> round purple pop that into there and that is all those put away now then where did i have those they're black yeah they're the blacks with the silver backing so i tend to keep those um with the blacks on their own so i'm not quite sure how they ended up right over there but uh, i'll put them oh unless they're silver no they are black Oh, they look smaller than those they are smaller than those oh well i'll pop them in with the blacks anyway and then at least they're away somewhere for now so that's that box all done so we've uh, kitted down our gorgeous girl in her tree swinging away with a little bit of a wobble and our little spring wreath so just a quick little video quick kitting down um i hope you've enjoyed looking at these with me as i say all the details will be down below of these two projects if you do want to go and check them out if you've enjoyed looking at these with me though a thumbs up is always very much appreciated any comments or questions if you leave them in the comments down below and if you want to come back and see what i get up to next and join our little family then if you press the subscribe button down in this corner and the all notifications bell that pops up you'll be notified when any of my videos come up so you won't miss anything yay okay thanks ever so much for stopping by and i do hope to see you all again soon bye for now